everyone, Artie Timber Ramba, also known as Tammy Porter, here with you today. We're going to make this bright and fun art journal page today using some of the new stuff from Marlene, art by Marlene. So I'll just go through what I used. So this is the mono postage fun paper pad. Um, so that's the one with the monochromatic. And I did use the other paper pad as well, which is called Postage Madness. I really, really, really love Marlene's papers. Then I've also used the new um, quotes. And I've used a couple of stencils. Uh, one, this one is blooming with the framey sort of flowers and the other one was called floral frame. I've grabbed my artist size journal, the, the one with the black cover. And I'm using the sticky glue, of course, which is in all my projects. And I've grabbed some paints. So I've I've got funky and I think it's ballet <laughs> and I've got hot curry which is the orange the blue which is mermaid yellow which is happy and I've got black as well in there so then I've grabbed a page out of my journal I'm using the, the back of one of the other pages I've done before I've pulled out a sheet of paper from the um, the mono one so I used the black one of the black sheets so it's got plain black on the back side and on the front side it's got lots of fun sort of creating and designs that Marlene has already done so this fits perfectly the size of the um, pages in the perfect sized sorry the artist size journal so I knew I wanted to use that page as a bit of a frame and then I knew I wanted to use some of the um some of the inside part of the paper for some focal points so i trimmed um i cut out sorry i'm not really finding words today <laughs> but i pulled out that sheet and i drew just a wavy sort of border around the edge and i've cut that out so i've put that aside ready for the focal point and um and then i'll use the the border part as the border so now i have been creating my background here so I came in with paint and I'm really just whacking it down. This will get covered up a lot of this and I will come in with stenciling. So I'm not too fussed. I've really just used colours that I liked um, as, as the beginning point. So now I come in with some stenciling. So I started with some of the um, ballet, the pink, and I've popped it over sort of the yellows and the blue area because I know that that pink against that will just look amazing. So I'm just wiping some off through the stencil um, using a wet baby wipe and you'll see how immediately that begins to frame around the edge. So I'm doing the same with some mermaid against that yellow and I'm using the leafy part because I really like how that sort of, that, as I said, it makes it look like a bit of a frame and um, really unites the whole thing so then i kind of leave the center at this point i do come back in and do a bit more there um, but I've, I've really worked around the outside bit and i keep bringing back my border and just making sure that that it's fitting and that it, i'm happy with how it's looking okay so i am really just adding a few more bits and pieces here and there filling in that center bit my cat just jump down she's on the top of my windowsill and she's just jumped straight onto my page and giving me a bit of a fright <laughs> okay so i'm happy with how that frame is looking and how that stenciling looks so far so now i'm just coming in with the um the black and white sheet i pulled from that paper pad and when i aren't sure where i'm going i often just do circles circles are really easy to cut out i don't bother about tracing anything i just eyeball it and cut them out and i want a few different sizes so i'm simply just um cutting out some different size circles and i know they will trail across my page in some sort and then i also grabbed out the other paper pad that i used and i've used the black um page in there as well and on the reverse of those is the polka dots so i thought ah oh, the black and white polka dots will be super cute so I've cut a few circles out, I've popped them aside and this is where I come back and decide that I will, rather than leaving that sort of painterly background, I will add a little bit more stenciling. So I'm using that 
um, frame one which is called blooming and I'm using the little flowers that are in there but Marlene has lots of little flowery stencils so you could use any sort for this and I'm just coming in with yellow over the orange because that gives a really nice contrast and just lifting it up so that I've kind of filled in that whole background with a pattern so now I decide yep I'm happy with that I'm going to stick my um, border down and so I adhere that down with the sticky glue and then I poke some of the so some one of the circles I cut out wasn't a full circle but I really wanted to include that and um, and the scribbly lines as a circle because it just to me stood out as needing to be in a circle but obviously it wasn't a completely round circle because it was on the edge of the paper so I have just moved it and tucked it underneath and then I just am tidying up some of my other circles and sort of making them trail across the page and up and down and then yeah just sticking them straight down with the sticky glue so once I've done that um, I decide okay I'm going actually the paper was a little tiny bit short for one side of the the page so to fix that I'm just coming in with the black paint which is called pitch and just rubbing it around the edges using my finger and then I also come in with a brush and um, add that as well so this you like to hide it all together so that it wasn't short on one side and it also adds a bit of a frame to my work so you can see it's pretty bright at this stage um, I think when I was in the moment I was just enjoying the colour and I wasn't really thinking about adding a bit of lightness in. Um, so the black and white against all those pops of colour is a lot of fun. <laughs> so now I'm coming in with a black uh, paint pen and this is a thicker one and I'm just going around the edge of that squig that wiggly um, border that I cut from the paper and I'm just defining it and I'm also gone around the edge of the circles so that they stand out a little bit more as well and then I decide to add in a few little circles using just the pen and then what I've done here is I've actually used I've used up um, one of my paints and so I've kept the lid because the lid has a cool little circle shape and I'm using the, the lid just to dip it into black paint and then using it almost like a stamp to create some painterly circles. They're not perfect. I don't want them to be perfect. I want them to be a bit grungy and a bit artsy. I've also been adding a bit of watered down black um, to the page, flicking it with a brush onto the background. And um, I also have, with that paint that's left over for, for the flicking, I've deepened up some of the marks around the edges. So I don't want to waste it. I want to use it. So let's just add it in. And this is where it starts to come together now. So now I'm just adding in my quote from the new quote book, which um, says, be a good person. Don't waste time proving it. It will show. And I used the aqua one because I've got quite a bit of aqua in the background. And I thought that might pop a little bit, having a bit of colour on top of the black and white circles as well. So now I'm just coming in with another paint pen, so just a finer paint pen, and I'm just adding loads and loads of scribbles around all the circles and adding a few more sort of circular shapes in here and there, just so that that circle almost joins together, so that, that trail of circles almost joins together across the centre. And I'm also adding squiggles to the background, um, to that border, just so it, so it doesn't quite look like paper plonked onto the painted background. I want it to all blend together and, you know, for people to think, well, how did she do that when, when looking at the page overall at the end? Okay, so I reckon that's pretty much it from me. I reckon that's we're coming to the end so this is super bright and I guess the trick of working I always say when you're working with lots of bright and bold colors is to use black and white as your contrast and it kind of tones it down but lifts it all up at the same time so that's what this page is all about um, adding that color and that black and white and seeing how it all works together so I will leave you with lots and lots of close-ups so you'll be able to see some of the um, magic that happens in the background um, when using stencils you get that mixing of color 
and you know little pops of lime pop in there from from the blue and the yellow mixing and and yeah really happy with it so you'll also see the splattering of black which ties it all together so thanks so much for joining me this is a bit of a typical tammy page today um, i hope it inspires you to get playing and to play with those new awesome papers of marlene i'll be back again real soon that's it from me today thanks for being here